All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC coming to you guys again with another video. Now this is gonna be kind of a special unboxing because as you guys seen in the title, I don't know if these are in like a sample um, or it's just an unreleased pair that's set to release or anything like that. Um, all I know is that I copped them off of eBay and I'm gonna explain why I think some of those could be a possibility um, after I go ahead and get into them. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to my people over at Brigade NYC for the shirt. I also got a baseball jersey and a hat um, that I will be showing in a video very, very soon. Um, some of you guys have been asking me um, why haven't I uploaded a uh, sneaker rotation of the week video? And the reason is what I was trying to do for you guys is actually bring back the uh, weekly fit rotation. I think I only did one before and now it's the only one. Um, just because the way I did it, it took time. Um, so what I'm going to try to be doing is week on week off, basically one week is going to be the actual sneaker rotation and one week will be the fit rotation. Since it's the summer, the outfits aren't as crazy. Um, but I will try to put a little color in my um, attire or outfits. And also, while I'm getting into this box, I did want to say this too. Shout out to people over at Sneaker Bar Detroit. Um, I actually recently did a, um, a phone interview with them, so I will leave a link down below to that. Um, basically, um, they're aiming to be uh, the breakfast club of sneakers. So if you guys are interested in any sneaker podcasts, people just talking, basically talking about how exactly they feel, um, you, know, you know, raw, uncut, whatever, whatever. Um, and I also did an interview with them. Um, so once again, here's the, sh the shoe right here. Of course, you guys can see it's another white Nike box. Um, I'm not gonna read this off yet because I want you guys to see the kick. Um, this is a shoe that people love and some, some people love and some people hate and people are gonna still hate it, but it's fine because I love it. It's probably one of my, probably one of my favorite shoe models of 2015. So let's go ahead and open this up. And they are once again the shoe that everyone loves to hate. The Nike Air Magista SP. Now, the reason I don't know if this shoe right here, this is, well, of course, this colorway is a white alternative to the black ones I had. It's an all white, but it blends black and red, as you guys can see. One side's red, one side's black, and then the front and blends both colors. You guys can see on the inside as well. All white, featuring that gum also, once again, and a little bit of red up here on the ankle collar. Now, the reason I didn't know if this was an unreleased Nike sample, and these are 13, they're a little bit bigger than the other ones, but I copped them because I just didn't want to miss out and I just was unsure. Um, so the person that was selling these on eBay, their name was Kimberly Todd, um, and they only had one size 13. And it was weird because all it said that whatever money that was paid for the shoe, all the proceeds would go to, um, I think it was a school in Beaverton, Oregon, or, or somewhere in Oregon. Um, and as you guys know, um, the Nike headquarters is in Beaverton, Oregon. Um, and I was like, well, who would donate? Like, I mean, you know, some people do it, but who would donate something like this? And I was like looking around on eBay and there really weren't any other Magistas in this same colorway. So I went on eBay, I mean, I went on Google and uh, you know, the wonderful tool Google and searched Nike Magista, basically white and red. And there were no, like release dates or info for this specific colorway as well as two other colorways and the only person that had pictures of this colorway um magista or any other ones was um a guy on instagram i think his name is jeff Wu 0505 the guy's from taipei taiwan um and he was the only person that i could find with pictures of this exact shoe um and i don't know if he has something to do with Nike, maybe this shoe was only um, overseas, maybe it's an Asia exclusive, um, but I, I mean, he was the only one that had pictures. I, of course, uh, I found some more pictures on Soul Collector, and basically all the info led to the same thing. Um, this was a summer colorway that did not have a release date yet, um, and they were just waiting to see if it was released. Now, you're saying, okay, maybe there's, you, you know, maybe you're still doubting that this could be a sample, okay, so, and there's a 13, and 13s are not usually sample colorways, which is one reason I said maybe it's an unreleased shoe. Um, or a 13 is not a sample size usually, that's why I said maybe it's an unreleased shoe. Um, but I did a little bit more digging and searched up the Kimberly Todd name, and there was actually a guy named Todd Pendleton, I believe. He worked with Nike from, I think, about 96 up until 2008 or 2009, and he was high up in Nike. He is now um, actually works, I think he's one of the high, higher ups 
and um, Samsung, and then I also searched like Kimberly, Kimberly Pendleton or Kimberly Todd, and it came to another lady named Kimberly, uh, I forgot her last name, but she also worked at Samsung. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe they share an eBay account. You know, I'm getting real like catfish um, detective on these joints just because I really wanted to know where these came from. And like I said, the guy, um, Todd Pendleton, he was high up in Nike, he just left him for um, Samsung not a few years ago. Then Kimberly was another lady that works in um, Samsung, may maybe a little bit higher up. Um, but it was, the, the thing that really solidified it for me that I think this is maybe just an unreleased shoe um, that I think could possibly release is that um, the proceeds were going to a school in Oregon. Um, every bit, every penny that I paid for this shoe it was actually donated, which was cool. And then the, the pile on the fact that whoever sold these probably was a um, employee at Nike, um, and that these are non-existent basically on Instagram, aside from pictures from Soul Collector and one guy in Taiwan or in Taipei, Taiwan. So as of right now, I don't know of anyone in the U.S with this same exact shoe. Now, am I saying there's not anyone else? No, because this is a 13 and it got to me um, from eBay, so I wouldn't be surprised if it landed somewhere else or someone else has it, but I have not seen it anywhere else. I Googled it, and the only place I've seen this shoe from someone's possession, personally, is that man in Taipei, Jeff Wu, that's it. But um, that is it, man. I just wanted to kind of share my story on how I came up on these, and the, reason only, the only reason I knew about these is because, of course, I had copped um, the black ones, these joints, uh, last week. So I had copped these, and then this was another shoe that was up there. They were originally um, listed for $290 plus $15 shipping, um, but then the, the whoever had them up there, uh, Kimberly Todd, uh, dropped it to $250, and I paid $265 um, for them. And as I always say, guys, if you follow me on Snuffs, I will be adding all my new unboxing stuff to Snuffs just so you guys can see it. Um, this is going to be a very special one. Um, I don't know, man. Magista, um, the Nike Air Magista may be a possibly an unreleased sample um, pair or colorway. I haven't seen this anywhere else, like I said before, but um, I'm happy to have them. I think they're dope. White, red, and black. Um, just the fly knit mixing in here is nice. And um, like I said, guys, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snubs, Tumblr, here, there, blase, blase at bullet rc i'm gonna see you guys in the next video that was my quick story on knees and i gotta do some other videos for you guys so y'all be easy peace